Talking needs to be done. Not quite. This telegram just come from Sacramento. What's it about, Hoyt? Hmm. Huh. I'm the State Land Commission. He's sending a lawyer to talk to Libby Matthews. <laughs> talk ain't gonna save our cattle. Any grass, any water. So do mine. Then ride with us, then. We'll get it for him. We're gonna give Libby Matthews just five minutes to let us drive our herds on Stone Creek. Don't be a fool. You're not gonna scare Libby Matthews. You tried that before, and she's still there. And if you try to run her off that land, there'll be a killing. That's what she wants. Maybe so. But if you get a bullet in you, what difference will it make to you or your family whether your cows have grazing water or not? This lawyer will be here any day now. He'll open up the Matthews land and... It ain't Matthews land. It's public land. All the more reason why we should have this lawyer handle it. Now, let's just try to be a little patient. Patient? Jed's right, Hoyt. Let's see what the lawyer can do. Hoyt? Yeah, looks like I don't have much choice in the matter. All right, we'll let this lawyer try to get the Matthews off the Stone Creek land his way. If he don't do it his way, we'll do it my way. <laughs> Probably wasn't hurt bad as you thought. He looked real bad, Ma. His face is all bloody. I only meant to scare him. Well, it appears he did. Come on. Don't you think we'd better look around for him? We've got work to do, Danny.
didn't eat much. I wasn't hungry. Be Matthews. This is my mother in law and my son. Who are you? I don't know. What? I don't know who I am. But, but your name? I know you were awake yet. Sit down and I'll get you some coffee. Been awake for a long time. Just lying there trying to remember something about myself. Can I get you some breakfast? No, thanks, ma'am. I'm not hungry. Well, you better drink your coffee. Danny's out trying to find your horse. My horse? He rode into our property yesterday afternoon and Danny. Danny, what? Shot at you. Well, not at you. He tried to fire past you. He only meant to scare you. Why? Them ranchers down in the valley have been trying to run us off our land. Danny thought you was one of them, coming here to make more trouble. We're sorry. We got no need to apologize. We got signs posted. You should have believed them, mister. But if I was on your property, I must have had some reason for coming here. Do you have any idea what that might have been? No, none. B but Danny says you had a coat on when he first saw you. Maybe there'll be some identification in it. He might find it now. In the meantime, you need a fresh shirt. I'll get you one. What are you going to do? Get him one of Scott's shirts. Here, put this on. It belonged to my husband. He's away. But he'll be back soon. He'll be back real soon now. You really should eat something, you know. A little broth of nuts and milk helps you get... What are some of the towns around here? Rockville's uh, about six miles away down in the valley. Then there's Pine Woods. That's uh, about 20 miles up in the hills. Do they mean anything to you? No. Well, they're both small. If he lived in one of them, I'd know it. Well, thanks for the shirt. I'll return it to you just well, as certainly soon. you're not thinking of going right away. I can't stay here. Oh, of course you can. That is, until you're better. We'll give it a few days at least. Please. Well, maybe a few days. Good. What are you thinking of? Begging him to stay. The man is hurt. How do you know he's hurt as bad as he's letting on? You don't know him. 
You don't know why he'd come here. My guess is them ranchers sent him up here to scare us. You're wrong. How do you know? I just do. If Scott was here, you wouldn't act Well, like... he isn't here. He's been gone for two years, and he may never... You cry out. Is everything all right? Oh, I'm fine. I just had a dream. I guess you call it a nightmare. It was all about this eagle with its wings spread like it. It wasn't going to fly, but it was angry and going to fight. I... It just came closer and closer, so I. Mom? Is there anything wrong, Mom? No. Everything's all right. Go on back to bed. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, go on. Good night. Good night. He feels very badly about what happened. Yes, I know. You should wait to find out what you wanted. But he just figured you were one of those ranchers. Maybe I am. I don't think so. Why do these ranchers want to drive you off your land? It's a drought. They need water and grass, and we won't sell out. Can't you get protection from the law? <laughs> the law. The law's on their side. They say that this is public land, and the state owns it, and we're just squatters. But if the law tries to put us off, we'll fight it, too. The land must be very dear to you. There's no reason to hide it. Some people say it's a myth. But we know somewhere on this property is the Socorro Ledge. What's the Socorro Ledge? A vein of gold. My husband is a mining engineer. He spent years checking the stories about it. Now it's just a question of getting someone to back him. That's why he's east. He'll be back soon with the money. In the meantime, it's just you two women and the boy, huh? That doesn't matter. We'll win somehow. We have to. This land, the Socorro Ledge, is Scott's life. It's my life, too. I'm going to be right here when Scott gets back. You better try to get some sleep. I'll be going into town in the morning. I wonder if I could borrow a horse. Oh, certainly. But... Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm all right now. I think it's time I start trying to find out who I am. Oh, just don't tell them you know us. They'll be a lot friendlier. Good night. Good night. I don't know quite what to tell you. 
I suppose I know as much as the next man about amnesia. And I know practically nothing. Can a person recover? Of course. That is, where there's no physical damage to the brain, and none seems indicated. But it's completely unpredictable. Your memory might never return, or it might come back. Any instant. Returning just as mysteriously as it left you. But how? What would make it come back? Mm, who can say? Usually it's coming in contact with something or someone who is familiar to the victim. <laughs> Guess there's only one thing I can say with absolute certainty. Amnesia can be caused by a blow to the head. But I've never heard of it being cured by another blow. So I don't suggest that you go home and hit yourself over the head with a frying pan. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, that was a very poor joke. I should have resisted the temptation to make it. That's all right, Doc. How much do I owe you? Oh, dollar, all right. Sorry, I couldn't do more for you, but what you need, there's no prescription for. Luck. Lloyd. Hello, Cameron. I just fixed to stop by your place and see you. <laughs> Glad to save you the ride. How about another beer? Say, uh, where's that lawyer the state was supposed to be sending down here? I haven't heard from him yet. Well, it's been three days since you got the telegram. <laughs> you better hurry up. What do you mean by that, Hoyt? Well, Cameron, that's what I was fixing to talk to you about. Uh, if the Matthews ain't off the Stone Creek land in one week from today. Now, look, Hoyt. Now, you listen to me, Cameron. I'm losing three, four head of cattle a day. I'm going to be wiped out. So are you. So is every man in this valley if we don't quit pussyfooting around. Hoyt, will you... One week, Cameron, one week. And no more time, no more talk. And then we're gonna burn her out. I wish you wouldn't start hollering the minute you come in the door. All right, where would you like me to start hollering? Did you get the mail? I thought you were taking a bath. I am. Right there on those steps? <laughs> Anything for me? Nope. Tell me something, Lord. What is it with all these baths? I mean, you take one, two, three times a day. What's it get you? Clean. Well, you had to ask. That's strange. Nothing from Jared. He said he'd write the minute he got to Rockville. Well, there's only probably one stage out of Rockville each week. Yeah. I'll get your lunch. No, no, no. We'll get it the truck wagon. I'll tell you something. He's, I'll flip you a coin to see if he's not getting those mustang. I'm Mr. Blair from the State Land Office. Ted Blair? That's right. Oh, please come in. Thank you. I've heard Jared speak of you many times. My son's Nick. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? I hope I haven't come at an inconvenient time. Not at all. As a matter of fact, you're just in time for lunch. Well, now, that's nice of you, but I'm afraid I can't. I've got to get right back to Sacramento. Train leaves in less than an hour. I stopped by to see if Jared was here. No, he left for right for last Monday. Is something wrong? Well, I, I got this telegram this morning from a Mr. Cameron in Rockville urging me to see that Jared got to Rockville as quickly as possible. Well, he should have been there three days ago. Well, unless he planned to stop somewhere en route. No, and... no, no, he didn't. He said he was going directly to see some woman named... Um... Uh, Matthews? Yes. Well, perhaps there's no cause for alarm. On the other hand, maybe there is. I think maybe we better check into it. I'll have McCall take over for a few days and uh, you saddle the horses, huh? Right. May I? Oh, yes, of course.
something for him? Do you know me? No. Well, then I guess there's nothing you can do for me, Father. Oui. What's the trouble, my son? Do you know what amnesia is? Yes. Well, that's my trouble. A few days ago, I was knocked off my horse, and when I came to, I didn't know who I was. Oh, I see. I don't know why I came here. I, I suppose I hoped you'd know me. I'm sorry. Look, if, if you need a place to stay... No, no, Father, that's, that's not the problem. Perhaps you should talk to Dr. Driscoll. I already have. Wait. I don't feel I should let you go without doing something to help. Don't worry about it, Father. There's nothing you can do. There is one thing. You mean pray for me? Yes, if you wish me to. Well, now, I don't know. Isn't there something in the Bible about a man and his name? Yes, you mean, as his name is, so is he, from Samuel. That's strange, isn't it? A man can lose his soul, and he says, sure, Father, go ahead, pray for me. But he loses his name, and he's not so sure. You see, I don't know what kind of man I was. That doesn't matter. It does to me. That's part of what I'm looking for. Not just who I was, but what I was. My boy, you forget. Your name, everything about you is already known to him. Well, if you'll forgive me, Father, that's not much of a comfort to me. Maybe I belong here. And maybe I belong in jail. Somehow, I don't think so. But you don't know for sure, do you? And neither do I. Maybe that's why I don't want you to pray for me. Maybe I'm afraid of the answer. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of ground to cover. Just one more thing, my boy. No matter how you feel right now, just remember you're not alone. And you're not forgotten. We never are. I'll try to remember that. find out anything in Rockville. Not in Rockville, not in Pine Lake. I walked every street a dozen times. Went into every saloon, every hotel, every store. Stared at everybody I saw, and they stared back at me like I wasn't there. What'd the doctor say? <laughs> he wished me luck. You know, you very nearly didn't get your horse back. After Pine Lake, I almost kept right on going. Where? I don't know. Any place, I guess, where there are more streets to walk, more people to stare at. I, I know how you must feel, but... Oh, no, you don't. I didn't know. Not until today, and then it hit me. Just two days ago, I had a name. I belonged somewhere. I knew people. They knew me. I had a life. And you still will have. I'm sure one morning you're just going to wake up and all of a sudden you'll remember everything. In the, in the meantime... In the meantime, what? You can stay here. There's a job for you here. No money, but room and board. Look, I know you mean to be kind. No, not kind. Selfish. We need help here. You can see that. And I need to keep on going. I need to keep searching. Well, you still can. It doesn't have to be a full-time job. You can use this as sort of a base. Some place to always come back to. You need that. I need to find out who I am. I know. And I want to help you. Supper's ready in 20 minutes. Where are you going? Let's go. 
forget the wire clippers. Me and Dakota are gonna fix the west boundary fence where it was cut last week. Dakota? That's what I call him, because that's where I saw him first. Dakota Flats? He said it was okay with him. Sure nice to have him around, isn't it, Ma? It sure is, Danny. Bye, Ma. Goodbye, Danny. How do I look? Scott bought you that dress just before he went away. Mm. I'd almost forgotten I had it. Ma! Ma, you look great! Don't you look great, Grandma? Gee, it's been so long, Ma. <laughs> Where's Dakota? Oh, he said he wasn't hungry. He's out looking for his coat. What's for dinner, Ma? Wash your hands. They're clean. Go wash your hands. You said you wasn't going to wear that dress till Scott come back. I changed my mind. Of a horse, a horse I found near the Matthews place. Yeah, look at these. Them are legal papers. That's right. Belonging to Jared Barkley, a lawyer. A lawyer the state was sending down here to get the Matthews off Stone Creek land. What do you think happened to him? You think he's dead? I don't know. Horse was roaming free, legs were scratched and cut. Saddle hadn't been off of him days. What about talking to the sheriff? <laughs> He's over in Black Butte. Besides, I'm tired of messing around. I'm going to go over to Matthews' place in Lake Quint. There's one thing I want to know right here and now. You going with me? Oh, I don't know, Hoyt. I... Quint, I'm tired of arguing. Hoyt. I'll get the boys together. Libby said she was going away for a few days. Probably be back at the end of the week. Looks like it's going to be a nice night. The night I want to see is the night it rains. Maybe they got some water down the valley. Them ranchers forget about us. Danny tells me it hasn't rained in over five months. What are those ranchers doing for feed and water? I haven't asked them. No concern of mine. Why isn't it? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it just seems to me that maybe this whole problem could be solved without a fight. Like for me and Libby to give up, you mean? Let them drive their stinking cows over my son's land. Let them come. Let them in. Let them look for the gold. And if they find it, let them have it. Well, let me tell you, Mr. Whoever you are, me and Libby don't give in that easy. you weren't going. I have a feeling you won't be coming back.
right, it's nothing. Oh, let me see. Just a flesh wound. Let me see. Danny, get a pan of hot water and some towels. Here, Ma. Hold this up. Would be. I'm looking for a man named Thatcher. Look over here. You're Thatcher? That's right. I work for the Matthews. I have a little message for you. So you're the guy we ran into up there last night. <laughs> Didn't know they had a man around the place. Is that what made you feel so brave? You thought you were just attacking a couple of women and a boy? So what's the message, mister? Don't come back. Is that all? That's all. <laughs> Are you listening? Put that gun away. Put it away. That isn't going to solve anything. I'm Jed Cameron. I've heard of you, too. I was just telling your friend here that he'd better... I heard you. Well, the same thing goes for you. I wasn't a party to that raid last night. I knew nothing about it until a few minutes ago. If I had, I'd have tried to stop it. Well, you better stop the next one, because you're not running those people off that land. Maybe the Matthews ain't told you yet. Stone Creek ain't their land. They're squatters. They put in 10 years of their life up there. They're there, and they're going to stay there. I'm sorry to hear that. I'd hope we could settle this peacefully. Maybe we could have before last night. Now I'm going to tell you just one more time. Don't come back. The next time, I'll be waiting for you. A week. That was your promise, Hoyt. That was before I found the lawyer's horse. How about the rest of you? That Matthew's hired hand meant what he said. The next time he will be waiting. Then we don't want to disappoint him, do we? I stand to lose more than any of you. But you can count me out. What are we gonna do, Mom? Run along. What are we gonna do? Run along. Dakota's in the barn working. Shall I tell him? No. No, we'll tell him later. What's this? What are you hiding? This is that man's coat, isn't it? Isn't it? Answer me. You found out who he is, haven't you? Haven't you? Yes. But you haven't told him? No. And you weren't going to? No, and neither are you. Get out of my way. Listen to me. You can't do this. Listen to me. I need him. I can't go on like this, not any longer. I can't fight anymore, not alone, not without help. And neither can you. Look at you. Last night it was a bullet through your arm. Next time it might be one through your head. Dakota's our only chance of staying here. If he leaves, we've lost. No. Yes. I'm tired and I'm scared. And if Dakota goes, Danny and I leave. You can just stay here and be burned out or driven out if you want to. But if that man goes, I'm through. You'd, you'd just let them ranchers take my son's land. Yes. 
So if you want anything for Scott, you keep your mouth shut. Place. Matthew's place? What do you want with the Matthew's place? Well, not that I think it's any of your business, but we're looking for a man named Jared Barkley. Is he a friend of yours? He's our brother. Your brother? That's right. Well, I found your brother's horse up in the hills yesterday. Looked like the horse had thrown him and run off. I looked around for him, but I couldn't find him. I don't like saying this, but I think your brother's dead. Dead? Well, that's my guess. Not just because you found his horse doesn't mean he's dead. That's right, except we found his horse near the Matthews place. How far is it to this Matthews place? Well, it's about uh, six miles right straight down the west road. You can't miss it. You better be careful. Matthew see you. They won't miss you either. And what do you want? Our name is Barkley. Barkley? We're looking for our brother, Jared Barkley. Well, what makes you think he'd be here? He's a lawyer representing the State Land Commission. He's coming to see you. He disappeared, but his horse was found near here yesterday. Somebody said you might know something. Well, you were told wrong, mister. I don't know him, and I never heard of him. Put that down. Who's it belong to? The man that works for us. Mighty fancy shirt for a hired hand. Mighty fancy. Put it down. Now ride. Yes, ma'am. Ride. She's lying. I swear that looked an awful lot like Jared's shirt. be back. You got no choice now. You got to tell him the truth. No. Them to know you're hiding something. And when they come back... When they come back, we won't be here. What? I'm going in to see Jed Cameron. He'll be glad to pay us the money to get off the land. What are you talking about? What are you saying? You can't sell this land. It's mine. It's Scott's. Then where is he? Why isn't he here? 
He'll be back. When? I don't know. I'll tell you when. Never. No. Yes, he's dead. You can't say that. You mustn't. You're his wife. I'm his widow. We're waiting for a dead man to come back to find gold that doesn't exist. That's not true. It is true. I've known it all along. And why'd you stay here? Where else could I go? Where do you go now? No, it doesn't matter. Because that man will go with you? Yes. Well, what if he won't? Well, he will. Just because you're in love with him don't mean he's in love with you. You have to go with us. Where else can he go? All right. Let's say he does go with you. Let's say that. What happens afterwards? If he gets his memory back? I don't know. He had a life before he came here. If you go back to it, he'll have to. You'll be left empty. No emptier than I am now. say to mother. As little as possible, just tell her we're going to be a little delayed is all. Mr. Barkley? I want to talk to you. I'm Libby Matthews' mother-in-law. Hi, Ma. Oh! Did you finish the fence? Nope. Played hooky instead. Uh, we went for a swim in the lake. Danny, would you take care of the horses? Sure, Ma. I have to talk to you inside. Would you like a cup of coffee? Sounds good. How about you? Yes, please. What's the matter? Uh, there were a couple of men here today. Not ranchers. Gunmen Hoyt Vatcher hired. They warned me that I have to get off the land right away. This afternoon. How many warnings does that make? I've lost count. But after they left, I started thinking, this isn't your fight and... It's anything should happen to you. I wouldn't worry about that. Well, I, I am worried about it. You asking me to leave? No, no, of course not. Well, what then? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. Well, don't try. Because this is my fight. I've made it mine. Why, because you believe in the Socorro ledge and that maybe you'll find it? <laughs> no. Then why? I don't know. Maybe I'm just like you. This place is all I know. All I have to hang on to. No, don't go out there. They're Vatra's men. They said they'd come back. It's a trick to make you think they know you. Jerry! Keep him busy. I'll try to get in the back. special for me in San Francisco. You gave it to him for his last birthday. Just before you left, remember? Don't you remember, Jerry?
Nick. Nick! Nick! <laughs> Tell you I knew who they were. They told me. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry and ashamed. There's not much to say after you what I did. You don't have to say anything. I was tired and afraid and lonely. I needed someone. I didn't know that not until you came. But you better go. Not yet. Not until I talk to those ranchers, try and fix it up so you can stay here. No, I don't want to stay. I don't have to stay. That's what I was trying to tell you before your brothers wrote up. I wanted to go away. I wanted to go away with you. I wanted to start living again. But I still do, even though I know you won't be there. I'm not sure I know how, but I want to try. Will you promise me one thing? Don't ever stop trying. I won't. Goodbye, Libby. Lou, are you folks going to catch a 915? Yeah. Must have lost my charm. Couldn't talk him into staying any longer. Oh, Lou, we couldn't have had a nicer time visiting you and Emma, but we do have to get back. Train's going to be a half hour late. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Dr. Brady isn't leaving until tonight. You'll be back in plenty of time. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Uh, what can I do for you? We come a long way, and we'd like to get a drink of water. Help yourself. Water bucket's inside. I think you can. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Very 
promise you, Shorty. Just like I said. Hey, Duke. What about them people out there? They ain't gonna bother us none, Shorty. Come on. What do you boys want? Just get that safe open in there and won't nobody be hurt. Safe? Oh, well, well, I can't open that safe. I... Get inside there, all of you. Come on, Larry. Get. You better get that shoe fixed, young man, if you're going to be a safe robber. I tell you, it just won't open. You'd better not lie to me, mister. You know what's good for you. No, no, they, they sent this new one out, and the combination just don't work. Hey, you, shorty, you go get her. Saddle. Hey, get off there! You heard, miss? No, I'm not. Oh, I tried to warn you about that saddle. Here. And I don't need any help from you. Well, no call to act snippety. Now you've broken Duke's saddle. Sure gonna make him mad. You're gonna have to fix it before that train gets in. We got us a hold-up going on. You ain't gonna mess it up. Go on. Pick it up. I tell you, mister, this combination just won't work. I'm gonna count to ten, and if that safe ain't open, I'm gonna blow a hole right through your vest button. One, two, three. I swear to Moses, mister, they put the paper and the money from the cattle shipping in here, closed her up, and now nobody can get it open. Three, four, five. They sent all the way to St. Louis for a new set of numbers. Shut up, six. Seven. Oh, put that thing away. You shut up and get back on the If you block. shoot him, he never can tell you the combination. But I don't know it. When I get to ten, I'm going to blow the biggest hole in you since Garberville. Now, you better get that thing open. Please, mister. Please. I swear I can't open this safe. There ain't a train do, is there? Eight, huh? <laughs> there ain't a train do, is there? This guy keeps looking at his watch. No, there ain't no train due. I checked, there ain't no train due for two hours. Now, leave me alone, my accountant, Sip. Well, you checked wrong. The train for Stockton is overdue right now. Why do you suppose we're waiting here? I said I checked, and there ain't no train due. Better make a run for your horses. You, you, you just shut up and stay out of my business. Oh, what, are, what are we going to do, Duke? Hell, yeah, would you take him back there in that room and, and, and lock him up, and, uh, and the rest of you, you stay right where you are. You get back inside there. Go on. Go on. You try signal that train or anything, they'll want to shoot you, you understand? And I want you to sit over there on the bench with me. Mother, the train is... Yes, I know, dear. Do you mind if my daughter catches the train? You can keep me here. Yes, I do, man. Shorty, you take her in there and shut her up. I'm not going in that baggage room. Oh, Andre, do what he says. Please, miss, you don't understand. You have to take do what... Take your hands off me. Do what... <laughs> now! <laughs> and you! And you! Don't you try nothing, because I'd just soon shoot you look at you. Oh, no, I, I promise. You know, you really don't have to shoot anyone. 
I figured out how to check up on that safe combination. You don't be figuring out nothing except sit there and be quiet. If they wrote to St. Louis about the safe, there will be a copy of the letter in the files. Yeah, what'll that prove? Well, it'll prove he wasn't lying. Hey, Duke, couldn't we just make a run for it? No! Get back in there and be quiet. We're staying. Now, what good will that do if you can't get the safe open? Hello, Henry. Hi. Oh, did you know your fire barrel had a hole in it? Oh, sure. Well, how many passengers you got? None. None? Thought you were gonna have passengers. You had the flag out. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, no passengers, none at all. Something wrong with you, Henry? No, nothing at all. We're waiting for the southbound. We won't be here till this afternoon. It's all right, we'll wait. Well, Henry, you're behind schedule already. Are you sure you're feeling all right? You ain't got the grip or something. No, I'm perfectly all right. Just fine. All right. Oh, uh, let me get that fire barrel fixed. The superintendent won't like it. You have a copy you. of the letter you wrote to St. Louis. Copy? You manage your own business. Well, if you wrote a letter about the state, there ought to be a copy of it in the files. Oh, I, I never thought. <laughs> hey, Duke. She bit my thumb. Can't you do anything right? How come you let her out of the sack? I didn't. Elwood did. Elwood! Hmm? Put her back in that sack. Oh, I did already. <laughs> I've had an childish behavior. Hey, you. Get back in there. Get back in there, will you? You too, you get in here. Here it is, he wasn't lying. Bill of lading and payment for... Tony, come here. You read all that. They, uh, sir, we have not been able to get the safe open on the numbers you sent. See, I told you. Hey, Duke, it says here $3,000. Three thousand dollars. We didn't figure but a couple hundred. <laughs> <laughs> see, I guess you boys to believe me now, won't you? I told you everything's gonna work out all right. You see, I told you. We still got to get the safe open. Look, do you really want to take this money? It doesn't belong to the railroad, you know. It belongs to a lot of people. Payment for cattle shipments. Now yeah, I'm a telling you for the last time. Shut up! Get yourself over there on that bench and sit down and quit flapping your jaw every time I turn around. Now. Let's pull this thing out here and see what you look like, boy. <laughs> Elwood, take him out back, get every tool he's got. Crowbars, sledgehammers, augers, bracing bits, what not. Go on, hey. get, get, get. <laughs> Come on, Shorty. <laughs> One, ten. I don't think you'll ever get it open. I told you, and I told you, one more word. And that's my final warning! Maybe we can bust it open underneath. Nope. One of them there hinges is just the best place to hit it. Right. You darn 
loose ink? No, it's gonna take a couple more bad doggies. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I, I bet you're getting it, Shorty. You sure got the paint bunged up. Hey, you got a little dent right there. <laughs> Progress. Can't you set Summers else? You're gonna get yourself hurt. Oh, I thought you were going to kill me anyhow. Shorty, go get that big hammer. We're gonna try the rock drill. I might point out that the metal in that safe is a lot harder than the metal in the drill. How'd you know that? My husband was in mining. Did he ever bust open a safe? No, of course not, but... Lady... I know. Shut up. That's right. Because you don't know nothing about it, then, do you? Hellwood, you take him and go get a rope and some block and tackle. We gonna turn her upside down. doing now? Getting a sandwich and some lemonade. Oh, it's still cold. Would you like some? No, we ain't hungry. Well, there's plenty. Mr. Johnson made more than we could possibly eat. We ain't got no time for that. Elwood, come up there on that safe and rig up that block and tackle of them rafters. Come on now, hurry up. <laughs> Doing. I'm gonna get this door open. Audra, I know how you feel, but those are desperate men. There's no telling what they'll do if we cross them. I'm still gonna get out of here. Ouch! What happened? I broke my fingernail. What kind of sandwiches are they, Mac? Oh, a ham, and I think there's turkey. He don't want one. I don't think it's up to you to decide whether he wants a sandwich or not. Thank you, ma'am. We didn't have no supper last night. You sure you don't want one? All right, Elwood, would you clumb down now? Now get a hold. We got to hoist her up first so we can get her high enough to tipple her over. Come on, pull. Stay down. Pull hard. Shorty, don't stand there stuffing your face. Get over here and help out. Hmm. All right, now. Greedy! Eee! 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 They've got to get a swing on her. I can't tip her over. Eee! <laughs> You better give up. No, I'm not giving up. And I'm not leaving here until we get this $3,000. How many grits and sour belly ain't the only thing in this world? And I want to get my share. I want you to understand that. Uh, boys, I, I, I don't want to get you mad or nothing, but uh, when that southbound pulls in here, somebody's going to notice that something's, well, not right. 
Elwood, keep the horses. We gonna leave, Duke? Shorty, if you want to leave, you get. But don't you never come back. When our daddy died, he had five cents. Five cents in an old tobacco can. And I'm gonna have more than that for me and my kin. You come over here and help me out with them ropes now. Well, well, now, I, I don't think I ought to help you. Well, I, I mean, in my position, I, I'm supposed to prevent you from what you're doing, not help you. you... There, bad doggies. That'll keep you out of my hair. <laughs> What are we gonna do, Duke? Get over there and get the wagon, Shorty. Uh, do you mind if I ask you what you're doing now? Yes, I do mind. You go in there and bring me back two of them sandwiches. Well, I thought you said you weren't hungry. And how'd you like to be knocked clear in the next Tuesday and don't think I won't do her either? He sure will, ma'am. I promise you that. Well, would you mind if I let my daughter and Mr. Johnson out of the baggage room and got them something to eat? No. Oh, I promise you, Audra won't make any trouble. Well, she better not. Audra, hello. Mother. You're both all right. That's what's fine. Mother, they put the I back promised back. them you would be quiet, Audra. What are you doing? Getting them something to eat. You're feeding them? Audra, a man is less likely to kill if his stomach is full. Besides, I'm trying to get help. What good is this going to do us, Duke? Team of horses can't pull no door off no safe. We're going to slide through that door, slide it across the porch, and on to the wagon. Then we're going to haul it off with us. Duke, I <laughs> sure got to hand it to you. You ain't never stumped. You figure a thing out. Well, ain't you the one to say so. Shorty, you go in there and pry up on that safe on them rappers. <laughs> Good, huh? <laughs> one ham, one turkey. Would you like some watermelon pickle? No. I wouldn't want to get knocked into next Tuesday. Woman, you just better stay clean out of my way. I don't think that door is going to be wide enough for the safe to get through. Hey, help me with this. I'm not gonna help you steal that money. You help me with this, I'll hit you with this rock drill. You think I like doing this? Do get some of the damn blasted notions a man ever just get. Hey. Try out stealing cattle in New Mexico and every one of them skinny critters have orphan mouth disease. Dug six months for gold. All we got was $14. $14. I'm sorry, but it's not going to fit through that door. How are you going to get her in the wagon? You got any dynamite? Dynamite? What would I be doing with dynamite? Here goes the train, Chief Got to be. The next one's not to leave. Conductor. 
Did you make a stop at Bixby Flats? Yeah, sure did. Did you pick up any passengers there? Nope. There wasn't anyone there at all? A woman and her daughter? A lady waiting for the southbound. Man with her, no daughter. Ah, oh, must have missed a train and changed her mind. Nice looking lady, sort of well dressed. Yep. They're waiting for the southbound. Was there a young girl with her uh, blonde? Nope, just an ornery looking man wearing buckskin pants. Uh, the lady had silver hair, wore it up yep. kind of like. Oh, that was a Bigsby Flats? Yep. Bigsby Flats. Telegrapher. I'd like to send a telegraph to Bixby Flats, station agent. Bixby Flats? Uh, the station hasn't answered anything for, oh, the last two hours. Now the line's down? Couldn't be. The next station south is getting through all right. We had some funny signals there for a while, but now, nothing. Well, would you try it again? All right. Won't do any good. <laughs> Shack we camp, that is our only chance. There's dynamite there and ain't nobody around look on us. But do we need to take them along? There ain't gonna be nobody a shooting at us, Elwood, as long as they're sitting in the wagon. Robbery is five years in prison and kidnapping is 50. I, I, I just thought I'd mention it. When I want to... What makes you think you can get away with this? You know, somebody's bound to get... Shorty, go inside and bring me back a mail sack. Oh, I, I don't think that will be necessary. Shorty, bring back two. Two. There's one thing I can't stand. It's a gabby woman. Go get on, Lulu! Doggies, that ought to do her. She'll glide along like a feather in the lake. Reckon the law will be following us, Elwood? Oh, like fleas to a dog, Shorty. What was it Pa used to say about a bear fight? Oh, there ain't no way to quit once you start. Just keep clawing till one or the other of you is chewed up. <laughs> that's us. And that's safe. I see you, you Shorty, you're running off at the mouth. Come on! You'll be home by tomorrow, sure. Tomorrow happens to be too late. Something special going on? Very special. Boyfriend, I suppose. Well, you can see him the next day. He'll be gone by then. I'm sorry. Well, if you're so sorry, then why don't you let us go? Sorry you shut up that talking and watch back there and see if we're tailed. I thought you might have something special going on, like an uncle was going to die or something. Or she's going to get married or something. Brady Mosier passed the examinations for West Point. The whole town's giving him a send-off. I was going to join the Army once. Both cavalry. Pays $13 a month. He'll be an officer. You're doing you're making it tighter. Well, if you hold still a minute, maybe I could get something done. What they say? Help coming? No. They're just telling me I'm fired if I don't answer and tend to business. Come on. Shorty, give me 
me some rocks, and I want you to make a pile right over there. See what you What are you doing? Just shut up. I want to leave a note. Can you write? Of course you can. Don't get smart, lady. There ain't no of course to it. Yes, I can. And I want you to write what I tell you on this piece of paper. You write. Uh, stop here. We'll be turned loose when the money is got out of the safe. How do you spell got? Shut up and write. They'll kill us, but we ain't hurt now. And you sign both your names to that. Elwood, come over here. They're gonna follow us for sure. You take this here rifle and get up there on them rocks. If this note don't work, you shoot, and you shoot good. <laughs> It's real good, Shorty. Right there in the middle of the trail, they'll have to stumble over. Duke, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, go ahead. No, I, I mean sort of private. You ain't getting no notions, are you, Shorty? This ain't no notion, Duke. I want to ask you something. Well? I've got where to put this. Duke, we ain't going to... You wouldn't shoot them women, would you? Both and said we better not follow. We better not plan on doing any wild shooting either. He's a railroad detective, and it's their money. All right, railroad detective, let's go. Very well, gentlemen. They sure made a mess. Some people never can do nothing neat. Oh. Dynamite's in that shack right over there, Shorty. Mr. Duke. What? Would you please untie us? No. We're nothing to be afraid of. And I promise you, we won't run away. Well, all right. You start getting Gabby, you understand? You keep an eye on him, Shorty, none time. I'm gonna get that dynamite. nothing to do with this, only Duke wanted well, to. Well, you don't need to explain to me. I guess anyone has the right to be a thief and a murderer if, if they want to be. I, I ain't a thief and murderer. Oh. Well, I suppose you're just borrowing that safe over there. Well, I ain't murdered anybody. Don't tell me. You'd shoot us in cold blood just as soon as look at us. All in the name of heavenly tarnation we wanted to get out of that safe was four or five hundred dollars. So we could get us out of this country and buy us a little ranch. Hey, Shorty! 
the caps, the ones that blow up. I know that. Mr. Duke, I don't want to tell you your business. Don't call me mister. All right, Duke. But if you dry these caps, they'll blow up. That sets off the dynamite. That's the whole idea. How you know that? Oh, believe me, take my word for it. Now, if you take some of these caps and attach them... To... I just bet you that you want to go in partnerships with us, don't you, and get no. some of our money? No, no, I'm just trying to get home without being blown up. Yeah, I'll bet you that. Up pretty woman, you ain't out bigger than me. Sorry. After I untie that safe, I want you to take this team over there to the shack and take that Gabby woman with you. You untie on that rope there. Honey, you shot it. Quit lollygagging that woman and haul off that wagon. Got you, Duke. Get along, man. Give me them caps. Oh, Joe, this is nonsense. You don't know what you're doing. You're going to blow us Three thousand dollars ain't no nonsense. No, it's money, but it's only money. Only money. Well, I guess you wasn't ever poor, was oh, you? Oh, yes, I was, Duke. Yes, I was. But I know what you're doing here doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, me and El Wood and Shorty go down to Mexico and get us a ranch. And that'll be it. We're going to get us a horse ranch, and we ain't going to worry no more about nothing. You're like someone who believes in Santa Claus. Life just doesn't work out that way, Duke. Uh, oh, for heaven's sake, you're going to blow us all up. Come on, now, wait. Put this back. Come on, gently, gently. Now, give me a length of fuse. Duke got that leg shot up in the war. Been honorary ever since. I never thought I'd live to see the day my mother was blowing up a safe. Now, you bring the rest of the dynamite. Enough there, you know it all, Gabby Woman. Duke! You're not going to use all of that, are you? Yes, I'm going to use all of it. Now, shut up! Go over there and leave me alone. All right. All right, I won't say another word. That'll be the day when a Gabby woman can keep her mouth shut. Duke, why don't you let us go, hmm? You know, kidnapping is a lot more serious. Than... I said shut up and get out of here and leave me alone. Right now. Oh. Shorty, robbing people isn't the only way a man can make something of himself, is it? Look, I didn't rob you, so what you hauling about? The railroad don't matter. It's got all the money anyhow. But what about what happens to you? Does that matter? I get along all right. Well, you, what happens if you're caught and sent to prison? Well, what's that to you? I don't make any difference to you. Shorty, people make themselves what they are. If a man has clean clothes and a job and, and learns to act decent, well, then he's as good as anybody else. How didn't I act decent? Well, it's threatening to shoot women decent. Look, nobody's going to shoot you. And if anybody did, I mean, if anybody looked at you that way, I'd... You could become whatever you wanted to be. You could get a job, get married, and have a family. Nobody would ever want to marry me. I think they would. Wallet 
just don't blow her open, Duke. Don't you start on me, boy. There ain't no whips about it. I'm a gonna get that money out of that safe if it's the last mortal thing I do. Them ladies are sure fine people, Duke. What's that got to do with it? Nothing. I just thought I'd say it. Well, you said it. Oh, they're going to use an awful lot of dynamite. We'd better get behind the shack. You'd better let me do that, Duke. That's a short fuse. We're gonna have to run. I can run. Don't be a hardhead. <laughs> Shorty, go get the wagon. Any way you look at it, Robin safe ain't easy. safe. Money has got out of the safe. She wouldn't say it like that. They told her what to write. Let's try her out. I'll tell you, there's a lot of money in that safe. Three thousand dollars. I'd give them three thousand dollars right now if they turn Mother and Order loose. What? And let those men get away with robbery? Besides, there's twenty thousand dollars in that safe. Station agent said three thousand. Well, I'm telling you twenty thousand. That was a special shipment. Railroad business. They must have a lookout posted somewhere in those rocks. I think I'll take a walk up there. Maybe they might talk if I take off my gun. Yeah, go with you. You can keep the money! Turn the women loose! Where did that shot come from? Somewhere up there. You're not gonna let that stop you, are you? That's right. Nobody else is going busting up there shooting either. Money in that safe ain't the reason we're here, mister. That's only paper. Paper? That's railroad money. Speak for what's your own. I am. Somewhere up there is our mother and our sister. for an hour now. You got any better ideas? Duke, it's not too late to change your mind. Get on your horses and ride out. You'd like that, wouldn't you? There are thousands of possible combinations. Now, you'll be here a month, and I don't think Elwood can hold off those men that long. Duke, you ain't never gonna get that thing open. Why don't we do what she says? Shut up! Duke, I'll go get Elwood. We can get out of here. Shut up! I'm going to get that money out of this here safe if I have to die trying. And I don't mind telling you I wouldn't mind a killing somebody along with it. I ain't been nothing, I ain't nothing, but I ain't going to be nothing no more. You, shorty, come here. Go ahead, shoot me, Duke. I don't care. You need the combination. Now send Audra down for it. You can keep me here. You'd love to get her out of here, wouldn't you? That's right. But she'll bring back the combination, and then you set us free. Mother, I'm not going to go and leave you here alone. You'll do what the Duke says. Good! 
And now get rid of you, you flaxen-haired old mouth woman. I'm plumb wore out of tying you up. And you can tell them down there that I'm going to shoot your maw if they don't do what I say. Or do you tell them I'm all right, but they have to help us get the safe open. Tell them if they don't, that the Duke is just mean enough to... Well, you convince them. Don't need no convincing. Old Duke is not really mean. He's just stubborn. And if you used that stubbornness in the right direction, you'd be the richest man in three counties. Audra, get going. And you tell them down there you better come back by yourself. You dead burn, took a morn, you dead nip. <laughs> Where are you going? It's Audra. Audra! Audra. Is Mother all right? Oh, yes, she's all right. And they won't hurt her if you can get some accommodation of the safe so they can get the money. We'll get it. Don't worry you, about it. You mean it. the safe hasn't been opened? The money's still in there? And they promised to let her go if I bring back the combination. If you bring it back, oh, no, no, no. We're going to bring it back. Oh, no, Nick, I have to. That's what they said. Well, I'm not authorized to give the combination to anyone. You mean you got the combination with you? Well, well, I have no authorization to give it to you or anyone else. Hand it over. But I can't do that. You see, I have no authorization. But you, you, you can't do that. You'll be helping to get away with the money. One turn left to 17, back one turn to 24, three turns left to 6. But you'll be as guilty as they are. And you'll be guilty of murder, mister, if those women don't come back. All right, we got to let's go. No, they said me. And I don't want anything to go wrong. All right. I'll be back in a little while. Are you getting ready to go to church or something? Nope. I just hate to let myself get run down in my appearance. There ain't nothing wrong with the way you look. For a saddle bum. Not for decent people. Like girls or somebody like that. Shorty, it doesn't matter how a man looks. It's what he is. People look at me like I was dirt. Always have. You know, Shorty, Deep down, I think you're a very decent person. You're just saying that because you want to get away. But I know different. Duke won't let us go. Shorty, want a piece of cake? Yeah. How about you, Duke? Want a piece of cake? No! Well, it's chocolate. I don't care what... Now, Duke, I know how to use this. Yes, ma'am. I just bet you you do. Shorty, pick up that shotgun, Shorty. And, ma'am, if you turn around, I'll get you. If you don't, Shorty will. Shorty, get on your horse and ride out. The whole thing isn't worth it. Shorty, pick up that shotgun, Shorty. Duke, there ain't no sense going on with this. Shorty, you better do what I tell you. I ain't gonna shoot no woman. Well, what do you want her to do, shoot me? Let me go, that's all I ask. Then you can do anything you want. Please, Duke. Shorty, if they come up here uh, looking for her and she ain't around, they're going to gun us down. Mother! 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 I'm all right, dear. I'm all right. We ain't the kind of 
people that does that or wants it, any of it. And if you do, you ain't my brother. your combination. Get it open today. No, and here's your combination. Oh, thank you. thing on the wagon. We'll take it back to the station. I'll get it open if I have to use dynamite. <laughs> 